After a tough 5-0 loss to start the season on Friday, the Terriers welcomed back the Northeastern Huskies to Walter Brown Arena on Saturday, and the offense was humming early. The Terriers were able to take a 3-1 lead into the first intermission, first because of a goal from Jesse Comfort. Could not corral the bouncing puck. Jesse Comfort turning and burning down the middle. Shot is saved. Bogoski rebound score. Jesse Comfort, a backhand goal, and it's 1 0 Terriers. After a Brook Hobson goal tied the score at one, the Terriers went back on the offensive attack. It was Sammy Davis on the power play, and then Nara Elia to make it a two goal lead. That helped Northeastern get on the board. Jesse Comfer between the circles was met by Hartman. This one taken right back. Sammy Davis backhand shot score. Wow. How did she get that one through? Two to one Terriers. Slip through here. Sammy Davis right to the middle. Jabbed away and buried by Elia. Bogolski came out with the poke check and somehow it winds up with Elia who scores the Terriers first power play goal of the season. Northeastern came out fast and furious in the second period, scoring twice to tie the score at 3-3. Despite a late surge from the Terriers, powered by a couple of penalties, the score remained tied all the way through the five-minute overtime period, and BU settled for a point and its first point of the 2018-19 season. The Terriers are back home next Saturday, October 13th, with a 3 p.m. game against UNH. Here with Coach Brian DeRocher and some good signs after uh, today's game. What'd you like, especially in that uh, tie? Well, I thought we were consistent all the way through, but the biggest thing we talked about was just fighting and competing by the net. You know, we were letting people go through the, we call it the paint or the, uh, you know, the area right by the net. And uh, unfortunately, we wouldn't pick people up. We'd let them just kind of slide through there, you know, untouched and hope that somebody on the other side would pick them up. Today, anybody that came through there, we had a stick on them, we had a body on them, we followed them through, and, uh, and everybody had to read defensively from there, but we really did engage tremendously, and uh, you know, then obviously we started the game with some goals, which was huge. Yesterday we started well, but had nothing to show for it, but it was the uh, compete in front of the net that was by far the biggest thing today. What would you like about the power play? So there was a moment you called a timeout and you had that same five uh, skater unit out there to extend a period. Yeah, they had done so well for the first, you know, 50, 55 seconds. I thought if we could get them a rest, they were going to score there. Uh, I think we ultimately got one more power play and real happy with the way we moved the puck around, the things we did. Um, that last one we may have had a turnover or two, but uh, I think that was just a sense of urgency trying to rush it and get a goal. If we just stayed a little more patient, we might have got one or two more threatening opportunities. But, uh, you know, the, the first and second power play of that period, we uh, really did move it around and just couldn't quite uh, get a puck with eyes that found its way in the net. And just in general about this team, a lot of unknowns, a lot of new players, but getting a point against the nationally ranked team, it's got to set you up for uh, some success or at least some confidence going forward, you have to figure. Absolutely, because you're still trying to figure out lines. You know, we know that Jesse and uh, uh, Sammy are real top players, but I was I was really impressed with the freshman forward today that I thought, you know, Kaylee Donnelly uh, getting a regular shift, played extremely well, got the puck out of the zone. Uh, McKenna Parker was strong, you know, she's real good on the wall. She competes at both ends. Uh, Emma Lutheridge played really well. Uh, you know, I think she was maybe nervous in the exhibition game, but this week I thought she played better yesterday and even better than that today. So uh, nice to see them making uh, significant contributions and playing well, and uh, you know, just feeling good about themselves as we go forward. And uh, you know, another freshman, Alex Allen, played uh, really well on the back end. Coach, great stuff as usual. Thanks again. Thank you.